everyone, this is Kurt ASMR. I hope you're doing really well today. So today's video is going to be a whisper ramble life update. Um, I have been putting this video off for what feels like a long time. Um, just because it felt like kind of like a bit of an interruption to sort of what I normally do and uh, I've had quite a stressful, just busy time in life and uh, um, yeah, but um, I thought I would share this with you guys anyway, so let's just get right to it. Um, I'm also going to be uh, trying to tap and scratch on things as well uh, as we talk for your ASMR pleasure, but let's get to it. So, um, basically on the 10th of June uh, this year, which uh, is just over about five weeks ago at the time of recording, is now sort of mid-July, um, I was diagnosed with autism. So uh, I had an assessment. Um, uh, I requested to be assessed for um, autism being neurodivergent um, back in January with my GP. Um, and uh, after a sort of three month sort of wait, I got my appointment for an online consultation. Um, and yeah, they after following the consultation, I am neurodivergent. I am autistic. Um, so I, I'm still processing everything. Um, it's not like it was a big shock because I kind of always suspected um, that I was or that something wasn't quite right with me. I thought maybe I had sort of like, I had a kind of rocky childhood, let's say. And so I thought maybe I had a lot of anxiety that was just kind of stuck and making me awkward um, that I just didn't have time to deal with and it was just permanently there. I thought I might have like OCD, um, which I probably do, it's probably part of me being um, uh, autistic. Uh, all of these things, you know, I had all these theories, but then I thought maybe I am autistic and, and what really prompted it was I, um, I was on a family holiday last year in Malta and um, I actually did a, a couple of great videos from there, did my first live because I hit a thousand subs um, and I did a hotel tour, it was a really nice hotel so that was good, um, but I had a couple of incidents which really kind of basically ruined my holiday, um, which I think uh, I suspect like a, a neurotypical person might feel uncomfortable maybe for a couple of minutes or a few hours, but this kind of like state is still with me, still bumps me out. Um, and it was just a, yeah, it was just a few sort of awkward incidents, which I think it, even like a normal person would, uh, yeah, a normal person would sort of still fall afoul of like, um, basically like there was an incident where you'd go down to this hotel breakfast and there was like a sort of breakfast area that kind of was inside but then it spilled into the outside uh, and then uh, there was a, a separate cafe which was like sort of also half outside half inside and they had a basically they had a an invisible delineation between where you have your hotel breakfast and where you come to the cafe because that was like a separate thing but there was literally no sign for that. Anyway, um, me and my family member, we sat in the wrong bit um, to uh, get breakfast and the guy that worked in the cafe, which was separate, was annoyed with us, even though it was like a completely open plan. Um, and that sort of attitude, because we had to face this guy, uh, you know, for like the rest of the, the, the week at breakfast time. Um, well, I did manage to avoid him, but that kind of just like, that snotty attitude of like, we oh, should have known this, um, really bummed me out. And there was actually a few things as well, just like, I'm sure you guys know, like going on family holidays. Um, I have quite a small family and uh, so, um, we, we rarely go on holiday together, but when we do, and we, I've had holidays which have gone okay, and I'm sure you 
have too. We've had holidays that just go awfully. Um, and yeah, this one was it was just tense, you know. Um, there was a lot happening as well, um, just in general. And yeah, and it bummed me out. And I was, I remember when I came back from like to the UK from the airport and I was trying to play like basically like, you know, sort of like a holiday kind of like Ibiza style club music, even though I hadn't been to Ibiza, I was just trying to, almost like trying to like rescue this holiday that had been ruined by thinking that like playing this music would somehow salvage the, what I perceived to be wreckage of this holiday. Anyway, um, yeah, and, and there were a few incidents like that, just on this particular trip that brought things to a head and, and prompted me to Google autism and, and shutting down and because I think that's what happened in a few cases and um and I found a really good article I can't find it um but if I can find it I'll link it below which really prompted me to to basically go for my um assessment um so yeah I had my assessment it was long it was I think it was a good couple of hours uh they asked me lots of questions about my past and my interactions with people and um, different situations uh, I find myself in and yeah I basically got my autism diagnosis um, let's tap on things oh wait hang on this is my just my New York coffee cup my favorite um, coffee cup and I'm just drinking coffee um, it's Marks and Spencer's French style but with soy milk So yeah, and um, yeah, so got my assessment. It didn't come as a big shock. It came came as quite a relief actually. Um, and I've only just sort of had time to kind of sit down. They sent they sent me lots of really great resources for support groups and online resources, even like YouTube channels I can check out. Um, and yeah, it's it's. Um, it's been really useful and I'm still obviously processing what happened, uh, sort of what, what happened, what sort of my diagnosis and what's that going to mean going forward and that's going to be an ongoing lifelong thing. Um, but yeah, um, so that's that's pretty much it. Um, the reason I've been delayed in posting just in general and I'm sorry, uh, I, there has been a bit of a delay, um, it's just as well as that um, and like I said I've been hesitating to post I've really been procrastinating posting this video because I didn't know what to say and I kind of prefer my ASMR to be just like business as usual so I'd prefer to just get on with um, with my tapping and scratching and, and sort of uh, I wasn't really in the mood to do a life update um, it just didn't seem that interesting to me but um, I think it's important because if just one person who thinks they might be neurodivergent or are neurodivergent watches this and, and feels less alone, then I think it's important. And so if you are neurodivergent or you, you, you identify as being so, you don't need an official diagnosis. If you self-identify or you're thinking of, of getting assessed, um, yeah, uh, you're not alone. And um, yeah, I'm sure lots of neurodivergent people watch my, my channel. Um, and there are a couple of really great, uh, I believe, neurodiverse um, YouTubers um, you know, I follow who are fantastic, like Runkaroo ASMR and Santopia Rose ASMR. They're really uh, great channels. Um, so, yeah. Um, did I tell you I'm drinking this with soy milk? Because the other thing that happened was um, I was admitted to hospital a couple of weeks ago. Uh, with like because my face went stiff um, so of course I thought oh god I'm having a stroke um, but they I was actually in hospital for two nights while they sort of kept an eye on me this was just a couple of weeks ago so I'm sorry I'm just all over the place um, it was maybe a few weeks after my diagnosis which uh, and following a kind of stressful time but uh, what they think was I just got a really really bad migraine um, uh, like a rare type of migraine called a hemiplegic migraine, which can cause stroke-like symptoms. Um, but also, I I believe they never told me this, but it's my belief that I actually pinched a nerve in my neck or damaged a nerve in my neck. Um, now, 
I don't know how I did that, whether it was from just because I sit, I work at, uh, you know, sort of a, an office job, I sit in front of a computer. Um, I might have jolted it doing, doing a workout or both. So I might have just excavated things. So I've been doing like neck exercises and I am better. Actually, not like 100%, but I am better. So yeah, went hospital and I'm so grateful that it wasn't anything like more serious. So I'm just trying to been getting back into my workouts and stuff and I am sort of feeling better but I'm trying to do like uh, neck exercises and I'm tall as well so I tend to slap point my head forward and slouch which is not good for you and yeah looking at my phone I'm terrible for that you know it's not good for you um so there was that and also unfortunately I'm sorry if this is sort of trigger warning if if this bums you out um but my my partner's dog passed away as well um, which was very sad. She was um, a beautiful dog called Juliet, and we loved her a lot. She um, she was 14 though, so she had a really good life. And uh, uh, my partner has three daughters who loved the heck out of her. And uh, yeah, and yeah, and I loved her too. Um, she was such a cute. She was like a terrier mix, so she's kind of like one of those scruffy. I love those kind of scruffy dogs with the sort of beard and the scruffy hair growing out of the eyebrows. And I kind of wish I'd done an ASMR video with her, but I was like, I didn't want to exploit her, but you know, I, I wish I'd got more video memories of her. Um, Cause she was so cute, yeah. And, um, but yeah, she had a really good life and she lived to a, a good age for, for, um, for a dog. So yeah, that, that happened again around sort of just recently, the last, um, I think that was the last three weeks. Um, so it's all been quite stressful. So that's why I've been delayed. And also I've been busy at work. I've been traveling for work, um, which I actually quite enjoy, uh, can be exhausting. Um, but yeah, um, keeping busy and sort of getting back into, uh, routines. So, um, I don't really know what else to say about my diagnosis, really. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I struggle with social interactions. Uh, maybe that's why, because I have a YouTube channel, spend a lot of my time online, met my partner online. Um, yeah, um, I'm gonna have some coffee, actually. And yeah, I do have like, um, I can get obsessed with things. Um, I have lots of hobbies and interests. Um, so like fragrances and I quite like aviation and uh, um, yeah, at various points of my life, I've had different sort of obsessions, but yeah. Um, but then again, it's like, well, lots of neurotypical people have lots of different interests as well. So it's like, what, you know, does that necessarily mean that you are neurodiverse? I don't know. But f yeah, for me, it's like, um, it's more about my social interactions, not, not really my interests, but social interactions. And then if something goes wrong, like for example, I've got lots of like, obviously like I'm in a relationship now, but previously I've had relationships that obviously have ended. Um, and I just wonder how much of my uh, autism played a part in that, I think, with some of them quite a lot, actually. Um, and and that bums me out because I'm sort of thinking, oh, what could have been? And I know that's not healthy because you just got to live in the moment and embrace embrace the now. And, and I'm really grateful for um, what I have now. I'm so lucky. Um, but yeah, just looking back, it, it's just really, it's actually been helpful my diagnosis to put things into a context and a frame um, and uh, yeah I can sort of I'm quite good at seeing okay what, what could where could my neurodiversity have played a role in in this happening and that happening and, and you know and sometimes you know again normal people make mistakes and have failed relationships and um, you know that's life but yeah I think certainly with me social interaction I'm not great in big crowds. I don't have a huge amount of friends. I just have, a, I'm more like seeing friends for just like one-on-one -on -one for a coffee and a movie. Um, and I'm, yeah, not, not that great in big crowds. Although at work, I went to a conference
conference recently um, and you're talking to lots of people and that can leave you with sort of like a, uh, you know, your social battery can drain again. That can be that can be normal people as well. No, no, I keep saying normal people, neurotypical people. Um, but yeah, that, I can, depending on the company I'm in, um, I can find those kind of interactions quite exhausting. But surprisingly, had a good time at this conference at work. Um, actually, sort of made more of an effort to engage with people. And yeah, uh, I don't know how I came across, but hopefully not. You know, okay. So. Yeah, it's been some big news. Um, I don't think it's going to have a huge effect on my channel going forward. I think that what I'm going to say is I just prefer to sort of get on with uh, business as usual. Um, dabbing and scratching. Just It's my Sian Sots Cup, which uh, it's actually a shrimp restaurant in America, which uh, my partner took me to. And I keep, I keep various things in it, sunglasses. A lighter for my candles, um, various bits and bobs like little travel perfume pods. Um, so yeah, I, I kind of prefer to just not do too many life updates, and I pref I actually just in terms of creating content, I prefer to do business as usual, tapping, scratching, whatever interests me. I've got a whole list of ideas that I'm excited about doing in future. However, if you would like me to talk more about my uh, my autism uh, neurodivergent diagnosis, you know, if, if that's something that you're interested in, if you are neurodiverse yourself, absolutely please leave me a comment and I will make a note for the future to do it. Maybe let me know this sort of exactly kind of area you would want me to talk about, um, uh, about the being neurodiverse, autistic, um, just give me, give me something to sort of work with, what, what, what kind of things would you like me to talk about, um, because I think I pretty much covered it, and like I said, if, if it helps, um, one person feel less alone, um, yeah, then, I, I'm, I, that would make me really happy, so, um, yeah, just to let you know if you are, um, neurodivergent, yeah, again, you're not alone, um, but yeah, otherwise, other than that, I just sort of want to get on with things, and, uh, yeah, um, but I just wanted to update you guys, uh, this is my scent of the day, uh, Narciso Rodriguez for him, which is actually quite a strong lavender-based 80s tribute fragrance, it's from 2007, it's the middle of July. Um, it's rainy and it's kind of cool. I put away my kind of cool weather fragrances in the um, in the cupboard, and because it's been unusually cool this summer in the UK, I've had to like dive back into the cupboard and get out some of my cool weather fragrances. So this, uh, lots of people say, this one is reminds them of. Uh, concrete after the rain, so what you call that, the smell of petrichor, when rain has, has landed on the concrete. And it's a rainy day today, and it looks like it's going to be kind of rainy on an awful day, so I dived into my winter fragrance cupboard and pulled this out. It's crazy. It's the middle of July. Um, and this is discontinued, so I'm really happy that I have this. I paid probably about... 15, 20 pounds over what it would be in retail. Um, and I think the distributor's a bit leaky. I don't know if you can see that, but I've got a feeling that this cap is a bit leaky. Um, but yeah, it's a nice smell. It's um, it's kind of like a sort of lavendery. Uh, it's like a modern, It's I wouldn't say it's an 80s smell. I think the, the perfumer was going for that, but yeah, um, it's certainly working for today. Um, okay guys, I'm going to leave the video there, I didn't want this to be too long, um, but yeah, I just wanted to update you guys. Again, uh, leave me a comment if you do want me to speak more about this uh, topic, about autism, um, your idea of diversity, and uh, I will try and leave some resources linked below. Um, but yeah, thank you so, uh, 
uh, so much guys for bearing with me um, and uh, yeah you're amazing um, yeah if, if you are um, autistic uh, as I am now then um, you're not alone you're amazing and you are unique and uh, yeah um, I will see you soon for another ASMR video. Uh, so my washing machine is on the spin cycle. I don't know if you can hear that, but yeah, it's laundry day as well today, which uh, I'm, I've nearly done. But yeah, it's one of those days where I don't, I don't want to do chores. I just want to watch TV. And um, yeah, Wimbledon is on. I've kind of been getting into that recently. Anyway, rambling. Um, take care. Bye bye, and I will see you soon for another ASMR video.